What's up guys, my name is Rodman and this is an episode of Prime Hooters. We're gonna be going and unboxing the Stella Reflex Studio Edition. Let me grab an X-Acto blade right here. See what we got. So this is the world's most powerful light, they say. So this may be a, a marketing thing, but it's marketed as the world's uh, most powerful studio light and is very, very small. So here it is. This is the Stellar Reflex Studio Edition. Let's check it out. Got your instruction manual. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, we got a um, a light mount. We got um, a USB-C cable. This looks pretty good, like a 10 foot USB-C cable. What do we have here? Okay, we have a 100 watt USB-C um, charger. Let's, let's check it out. Oh, this is nice. It actually has two USB-C ports on it so you can charge um, or uh, run two of these lights off of one charger or you can, I guess you could even charge your MacBook off of one of these. All right, let's see. Here it is. Wow. That is small. Look at that. That is the Stella Reflex Studio Edition. Has a nice little fan set up in there and a little display in the back with your adjustment knob with a I believe it's a button and adjustment knob in one and it has a quarter 20 screw here on the bottom and this little let's see this little bracket comes off in the bottom here okay it actually has a Phillips head screwdriver but this is actually a light mount as well right here built in nice so this uses um a, a frenzel i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right fenzel frenzel uh medium optic you have a choice for a spot optic and also a wide optic as well but it comes with the medium optic uh from the factory and you also can mount uh soft boxes on here the soft boxes that you can mount um, without getting an adapter are the Ellen Chrome uh, Quadra mounts. Um, so I'm going to be getting an adapter um, just to use Bowen's mounts. They're, they're the most popular ones. So I'm going to get the adapter. Did not get that yet. Um, it also has a quarter 20 on the top, which is nice. You can mount it right on, on a tripod. You don't need a special light stand if, if you don't have it. Um, let's go ahead and let's, let's plug. Here's how you turn it on, guys. You just um, press it and then do a two, two second press. And then if you want to switch, there we go. So this is at the lowest setting of one stop of light. And, just, and then it goes, you can see the little meter in the back here. It has little dots, and as you turn this, the intensity goes up, and it tells you the number of stops of light, which is nice that it, that it has that. And you can hear the fan turn on um, as you turn it all the way up. It only goes to four stops of light is the maximum, um, and it is it is very very bright. You definitely do not want to look at that straight on. But you can hear the, um, I'll put it next to the microphone, you can hear the fan though. The fan is, you know, 
slightly noisy. Um, so definitely gonna have have it directly next to a microphone um, when you will be using it, unless. Um, it seems like the fans are turning on when I turn it to three stops. So I get the three stops of light on the on the um, controller here. It, it's turning the fan on. So, anyways, um, for the most part, you're not going to need that much light when you're shooting indoors, anyways. Um, this is nice because also this light can connect to your Godox uh, trigger, uh, Allen Chrome, and also, uh, I believe, Westcott as well. So, it, it has a good set of control, oh, Pro Photo, I'm sorry, not Westcott, Pro Photo. And it also has a Bluetooth control, which I did not know. So, we'll have to see if we can get the app for this and check it out. All right, guys. For for size reference, I just wanted to uh, go grab my my eighty three hundred Explorer by uh, Flashpoint. Um, this is my uh, flash that I use. Um, it is not uh, a studio light by no means. Though. This is just a, a nice flash. So this can be used for a flash or a studio light. And let me just show you the size difference here. So. You can see the the Stella is significantly smaller and also much lighter. Of course, this doesn't have the battery handle on there, and this does have a battery um, in there. But you can see the it's a, the diameter is approximately the same, but the length of the eighty three hundred is twice twice as long, and the weight is probably three to four times as much compared to this, this is very lightweight. So, and then maybe I'll just, uh, I'll take a quick look and show you guys my, next to the small rig that I'm using for this uh, film. Um, it is it is way smaller than the small rig um, light. So guys, that's the Stella Pro Studio um, Edition. Um, Stella Pro Reflex Studio Edition, sorry. So yeah, this light is awesome and I'm gonna go give it a, um, a try in the real, real world. And yeah, also it's IP65 rated, so you can use this in uh, inclement conditions, which I plan on doing um, because I do other lines of work and I'm gonna be working outside and this is gonna be one of my work lights as well, uh, besides the studio and photo light. Anyways, um, I have a 20% off um, link that you guys can use to get 20% off of your purchase from Stella Pro. Um, please see the link in the description and you will get 20% off. You will not see it, just a heads up, you will not see the discount um, come off of there until you are all the way at the end of the checkout then you will see it just so you know because i tried it myself just to make sure it works and it does work you just need to go all the way to the end of the checkout and you will see it come off all right guys thank you we will have more uh updates on this soon i want to do a comparison video between this and the 8300 as well uh for photography thank you guys take care bye